So now that we have the machine auto home, the bed at the bottom, and we have it preheated, where we have the bed at 120C and the head at 240C, we are ready to load our filament. Now with the Axiom, we'll be loading ABS. Please start your 3D printing the Axiom with ABS. It is a wonderful material that we've optimized for use with this machine. If you have the Axiom E, you can start with PLA. PLA is also a wonderful material to use and you don't need to have a heated bed. So with a filament in hand, let's go ahead and press prepare load filament. Now one of the first things we want to do actually is cut a slight angle into this filament, right like that. That'll help it go smoothly through the tube. do is press firmly on the filament to put it into the feeder and then the feeder will do everything else. So in other words, as soon as you feel that filament being pulled down into the feeder, everything else will happen for you. So right now, as we're sitting here, the filament is being fed through the tube. It'll start slow and once the machine understands that the filament is in the tube, it will start to speed up. Then at a later time when the filament comes close to the hot end, it will slow down again so that we have a smooth transition uh, into the hot end ready for 3D printing. So here it comes now into the bottom of the hot end. And I started a little late putting that filament in because I was showing you how to cut the tip. But just in case all the filament doesn't get through to the hot end, it's okay. Because we have a button on the menu here just for that. Let's navigate to the prepare menu again. And rather than pressing load filament, let's press prime filament. Now we press prime as many times as we need to to make sure that that filament comes out of the tip. And if you saw that little red filament spot there, we are ready to go. So now let's start the machine. We're gonna go back to our main menu and we're gonna navigate down to print from SD. Once there, we can find exactly what part we want to make. In this case, we may want to make the teeth we have as a sample. We have a bunch of samples on this particular machine. Now, before we actually go forward with the printing, there's one important step that we need to remember, coating the bed. We use a ceramic or glass plate as our build surface. It is, for all intents and purposes, perfectly flat and impervious to heat warping. So what we're going to do is get that plastic filament to stick to that plate. Now normally we'd have to put a special tape on that plate or coat it with some special gritty uh, something or other, but in our case uh, Airwolf 3D actually invented this solution called Wolf Bite. And Wolf Bite is put simply on a heated bed and adheres that plastic filament to the glass. And so we'll do that right now. We'll take our bottle of Wolf Bite. We'll dip our applicator brush in here. And we'll coat the bed. And we don't need to coat the whole bed. We can just coat where we're going to print. And our printer is ready to go. Now Wolf Bite will adhere the plastic to the glass plate when the plate's warm. After the print, when the plate cools off, the part will actually pop off. And if it doesn't pop off, you can wash it off with water. So let's get back to the printing process and we're gonna go quickly through here, down to print from SD. And let's select our teeth and select the G code. And there we go. You don't have to do anything else with this printer. In about three hours, you can come back and you will have a beautiful 3D print waiting for you. That is really one of the wonders of this 3D printer is that it automatically calibrates itself. It automatically levels itself. It keeps the heat within the chamber. It does everything for you to give you a perfect 3D print.